All right, what's up? It's your boy Mikey Will here. Make sure if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, drop a comment. Everything helps, you know what I mean? In this video, we are actually turning this little Razor, this little Razor, I think 350 watt dirt quad. I think it's called the Razor uh, Dirt ATV, I think it's called. And we're going to strip this thing down. And this is a gorilla cart. Got this from Walmart. Uh, I don't even know how much it cost. It's like 80, 100 bucks. It's kind of dusty. You guys can't see, but yeah. So we're gonna turn this into an off-road, like I guess a beach cart or just like a cooler cart. Just something that, like I, I don't want to pull anything. I just want to make life a little bit easier. So let's get into it, guys. <laughs> These ones have like little bolts behind them. And then the ones on the side do not just clip in, I guess. Let's just get cracking them. I'm slagging them. Oh. Spacer washer things. Just go ahead and rip all them joints out. I guess I need to keep on getting into the bits and stuff. Right there, and in the back, with those little nuts, you just gotta knock those nuts off. Alright, so I don't know nothing about welding. So hit up this one guy that I used to, well, I did a job for, like a little drone shoot, whatever. And charged me like 150 bucks, not including the material and stuff. Oh, I guess that does include the material for like the welding and the little sticks that they use, or little filament or whatever it is. And yeah, the name's Andrew Van Doren. 
Uh, definitely look him up. Does a bunch of crazy, I don't know, like a bunch of crazy welding builds. <laughs> Got a bunch of dope whips and stuff too. But yeah, so what we're doing here is putting this gorilla cart onto, well, just like the top part onto this razor. What is it, Razor MX? I don't even know. Dirt quad. And in there, it's a kid squad, so it's not meant to go fast at all. So when what I thought was this to just upgrade the thing and drop 40 volts into it, because stock voltage is about 24 volts. I think there's an even smaller version where the kids want to get down to 12 volts. But that's not what we're doing here. So we got we to make it a little more beefcake so we can put a cooler on it with a person to carry them while on the beach. While Well, I don't know how well it would pull on the sand. Well, with no person, probably really good. But with a person, not so good. <laughs> but um, yeah, this thing went on fairly simple definitely can say we went a little overkill I've seen people do a lot less and if you know how to weld it probably won't cost you 150 bucks but all in I think I'm maybe like $450 maybe $500 on everything including like the battery I built the battery but that is for another video and you guys would not know this at this point, but yeah, I did build the battery. At this point, I was waiting for the parts to build the battery. Because you need nickel strips, some cell holders, 18650s or 21700 cells. Or lip lipo cells. I personally don't use those ones. They are easier to work with, though. You don't need like a crazy spot weld or anything like you do with lithium ion cells but so far so good she's pretty even looking good looking sturdy because this has to carry some weight like some cool like a cooler with some ice in it and this could be used as a utility card as well and that's where i got the idea and i was just like wait a minute this could be more than just a utility car you could ride on this thing take it to tailgates and just I don't know, you just, you just take the trash down with it, you can do a bunch of things with this thing. So we definitely wanted to make it as sturdy as possible. And looks like it's about a little, a little mint. I actually did paint it right after this because I could not get with the green cart. Just with, I just used some regular like stainless steel spray paint, got it at Walmart. I don't even know. I think it was like three bucks, four bucks. I have no idea. I don't even remember. But yeah, so right now I'm drilling out a hole for the voltmeter. I wanted to put on the battery, but it was like a it was like a circle and it wouldn't really fit properly. So obviously it took a couple tries to get this thing to go in like perfect. So you can see I did not drill it out enough. But this is after like another 10 15 minutes of drilling and i finally got it to like the right size and then she was showing up that volt meter was mint but definitely the wire was giving me some trouble yep there it is finally in there Yep, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta, like, uh, there's like a little grommet on the other side and you just spin it on and keeps it like a better seal on this thing. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Got the little fast scooters upgraded kit. Put my own connectors on it. I use XT90s. Could use XT60s. I just had XT90s on and just tied it all up with zip ties made it look nice probably will 3d print something in the future for it but i just want to give you guys how we doing and stuff 
is that we had to put some wrap on the battery so you can actually test it and put it in the bike itself, not the bike, the cart itself, just to, just to see it. And there she is. Got my multimeter on there because I was testing everything, make sure everything was good. There it is, guys. Uh, yeah, these stock motors, when you get these um, kits, right, it guys, does. So it's not completely finished, but. Yeah, like you do need to um, flip oh, the polarity of the motor. Alright, so we are on. This does work. Everything does work. Just need some brakes because the cable was super frayed and stuff like that. But look at this thing, guys. Came out pretty G. 10S, 40 volt. Custom batteries on the inside of that little battery box that actually fit in there. That's dope. Oh, yeah, that light's not hooked up yet, but we got a little yeah, light on it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, guys. Like I said before, this thing all in is about uh, like 400, 500 bucks. I had the cooler and stuff, or got marketplace. I got all this stuff in marketplace. Yo, thank you guys for watching. Got more content coming soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe, that like, that comment, do all that. Run it up, baby. I appreciate everything. Peace.